How's it going guys and welcome to Game Involved. I'm Shifty Cowan and in today's video we have another loadout for you guys. So if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below and if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we do post Battlefield content daily. So I want to start off by saying that we have been kind of slacking on loadouts on the channel for the past couple of weeks. I've been out of town and we haven't been able to kind of record specific gameplay. So if you guys have any creative challenges or loadouts or things you want us to try out, be sure to leave those down in the comments below. And if you have and we just kind of ignored it, post it again because chances are we've forgotten about it and that's just kind of our fault. So hopping right into it, I decided to use the A91 Carbine along with the SRA Repair Torch M9 Pistol and of course the M67 Frag Grenades. Now this was kind of just a new loadout because I really don't have that much unlocked. I have a couple of the carbines, this is about as far as it goes, I just unlocked the AN-91, and I've got to say it's becoming one of my favorite carbines. It's got a really stable RPM, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but who cares, it's nice, it's fast, and it also has some pretty decent accuracy at range, so it's not like something like the ACR where you're just going to be completely lost at range and you won't be able to tap fire, because it does have a nice tap fire, not to mention this thing's hit fire is completely baller. Now, after getting all this gameplay, I have to say that the A91 is probably going to become one of my go-to weapons for the Engineer class, just because it's a really awesome gun for running and gunning, hit firing people down, and it's got some really nice fire rate, range, it's just a really nice weapon. So I'm probably going to be using this in the future, but we're going to move on to the M9 pistol. Now, as for actually recording gameplay of this, I don't think I got a single kill with it because for some reason on PC, I don't like to switch over to my secondary. I'm not sure what it is, it's really easy to, I just don't do it. So if I completely run out of ammo, I either try to reload or just kind of sit there and take it because I just want the brunt of the force. I really don't understand, but that's just something I do. And from playing with it on Xbox, this thing was an absolute beast and it was probably my favorite semi-auto just kind of spamming pistols. So hopefully in the future, I actually start playing with it and get some more use out of it, but as of right now, I just did not not touch it. So we're going to move over to the SRA, which is probably the saddest thing about this loadout. Now, over the past couple of months since the spring patch, I've been trying to adjust to the SRA and get used to its movement speed and its maneuverability, its limited range, all that type of stuff, and it's really just not worth it. You can still get kills with it, like don't get me wrong, you can still kill people from insane ranges and have all those awesome battlefield moments, but they're just so rare now that you can maybe get like one or two every couple of games. It's really not worth it, and I'm probably just going to move over to something like the small where I can actually get several of those in one game rather than trying to stick with something that is really just beaten to death and just absolute trash right now. Now just hopping into battlefield rounds and watching what people are using in the kill feed and how people play it seems like a lot more people are switching over to things like smaws and stingers which the smaws okay because obviously you have a lot of disadvantages and that's going to be a pretty skilled shot but people who are using the stingers are just spamming the skies with lock-ons and it really is no fun for people who are trying to fly around in helicopters, so I really hope they do adjust the SRA, bring a lot more people back using it. I don't want it to be overpowered because it was really good, but it still took a ton of time to learn and a lot of skill to use, so hopefully they do do some adjustments because right now it's just pretty useless and underpowered. So that's pretty much it for this loadout guys, but we do have a little bit of channel news to talk about, so first off we are going to be streaming today at around 3 o'clock mountain time. Now to make sure you guys aren't doing math, I've put up some conversions and it's basically just going to be hopefully a good time for everyone. Everyone. It's slightly after work for most people, and we're probably going to be streaming for anywhere from one to two hours, depending on how it goes and how nice the quality is. Because we have been doing a couple test streams. If you've been paying attention to our Twitch, we've been doing some stuff with that, streaming some Rust. So if you see before then you notice we're streaming, feel free to watch that. We're probably just going to be testing quality, making sure everything's synced up. And if you do want to see our Twitch, it is in the description below. So moving on, I wanted to talk briefly about our second channel because we have been putting a lot of videos on there. And if you haven't already, feel free to check that out. But we just wanted to let you guys know that we're probably not going to be posting every single day because it does kind of get tough having two different channels and trying to post every single day pretty much because there's two of us we have two channels so we're posting pretty much every single day and editing something up and we want to make sure that it's quality and we're not just providing garbage that you guys are watching so we want to make sure it's decent quality and so we're probably not going to be doing that every day and maybe just like every couple days or so but we want to make sure you guys are okay with that because we don't want you guys just all in subbing because we don't post as often and we want to make sure that we're providing good quality and not just trying to fill our video videos up and making as much content as possible because generally that just leads to some really poor gameplay, not as much editing, and really just not an enjoyable experience. So I just want to let you guys know that. Hopefully you're okay with that. If you guys have any any suggestions on how you want us to upload, what type of videos to upload, be sure to tell us in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. 
And until next time, guys, stay buttery.